Hi everyone, Mrs. Primer here in the gym at St. Brendan's with a few special messages for you. Your classes and sports seasons ended so quickly that we didn't get a chance to say goodbye to you. Just because we don't see you in class or on the court doesn't mean we aren't thinking of you. We pray for you and your families every day. We know that you're at home with your families keeping safe. And that is just what we are doing. We are wondering when we will all be together again around the altar of God. Be patient. For our second graders awaiting First Communion, please be patient. We will be gathered around the altar together again, and you will receive Jesus, and it will be something that was worth waiting for. Hello, all my friends at St. Brendan's. I know you are a little worried, so are we. But we know God will get us through. Um, one of the ways we can stay positive is to um, do positive things for others and maybe with all our frontline people, our, our nurses and our doctors and people in nursing homes that are working to keep people safe, you can uh, take some time and write them a letter thanking them and uh, it'll make everything, uh, it's good for you, it's good for your soul to help and do positive in the world and you'll make those people feel appreciated for the sacrifices they are making and the time they're spending away from their family. Just in my backyard looking at one of my favorite trees, I usually hang a hammock from the tree this year and I, I'll lay out here and I'll look at the trees and the, the birds will be singing at night. Sometimes I'll come out there and I can look at the stars. It gives me a lot of peace and I think about God's creation. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. <laughs> We've been busy planning vacation Bible school for this summer. I'm going to hope and pray that we're going to be seeing everybody really soon. So keep your eyes open for some VBS info. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For nothing will be impossible, God. We will get through this together. There is more to life than basketball. The most important thing is your family and taking care of each other and loving each other no matter what. Steph Curry. It's the little details that are vital. Little things make big things happen, John Wooden. By doing what we are doing, no matter how big or small, we are taking care of one another. Stay safe and God bless. Well, no, um, we're all in this together, guys, so if you need any help, reach out to someone. If you haven't talked to someone in a while, give them a call or send them a text. Tell them what you're thinking about them, because we're all in this together. God bless. While none of what we are doing is normal, there are things that we can do in our daily lives that will bring a sense of normalcy to them. By watching Mass on Sunday mornings online, together as a family, you can keep that particular routine going for your children and for yourselves. Praying daily in the morning and in the evening, perhaps you haven't done that before, and now is a good time to start that. May will be arriving at the end of this week, and May is the month of our Blessed Mother. She is such a role model for having to accept the things that she couldn't change. Perhaps we can look to her as we move forward into this new normal that we will experience. Soon we'll be together again and things will be great. We'll be able to go places. But until then, enjoy our time at home. Have a cup of tea with a loved one. Or try to stay connected with your family. Fish try. Until we are together again, please know that Father Kadika and the rest of the staff here at St. Brendan's is praying for you. Take care and God bless.